Robert, you and I need to have a little talk. Now, now this is something that, that we should have discussed a long time ago, but we better do it right now, okay? Now, will you put down that coloring book and listen to me? Oh, okay, Bubba. All right, well, as you know, Mama's back in the hospital now. And now she's going to be okay. She'll be out in a few days. But we expect her to go back to the hospital more and more often as time goes along. And then one day, little brother, I'm afraid that Mama won't be coming home. Where will she be, Bubba? She'll be dead, Robert. Remember we talked about that part? Oh, that's, that's right, I forgot. So, Robert, honey, this brings us to a point that we need to discuss. You see, before Daddy passed away, I promised him that I'd look after you. Now, lately, I've been thinking a lot about what your situation's going to be after Mama's gone, and I've been given a lot of thought about where you're going to live. Well, Bubba, that's an easy one. I'm, I'm going to go get my own apartment. Robert, honey, it's not that easy. You know, hey, you know with this new job I got? I could go out of town at a moment's notice. Well, you remember two weeks ago they called me up and said I had to go to Seattle with that load of frozen hog brains? Hey, they just called me right up spur of the moment, and I had to go right then. Well, I, well our sister Charlene lives up in Denton, and I can call her if I need any help, but I won't because I'm an adult and I can take care of myself. Well, Robert, you know, things are changing there, too. Yeah, Charlene's friend Barbara, you know her friend Barbara, she's going to be getting her Ph.D. in Albanian women's literature this summer, and she may take a teaching job at a college up in New Jersey. Well, her and Charlene are going to have to move up there. You wouldn't want to go live in New Jersey now, would you? Oh, no, no, no. Pe people up there talk funny. You damn straight they do. So anyway, I feel that the best thing for you to do, Robert, is is to go live in a group home. Now don't get upset. I, I went and toured a real nice group home. It's no less than two miles from here. Hey, it's on the bus line so you can ride the bus to work. <sighs> Bubba, you said I could have my own apartment. No, I never said yes. I said we'll see. Now, I seriously consider letting you get your own apartment, but hell, with me on the road and Charlene up in New Jersey, who'd take care of you in case of an emergency? Hey, what if you got sick? Oh, I know, I know. I'll only get sick when you're home. I wish it were that simple, Robert. Now, at the group home, there's a couple that lives there all the time. They'll make sure that you eat right. They'll make sure that you get to work on time. Hey, you'll even have a roommate. Why well, I bet you two will become the best of friends. I don't want a roommate. I want my own apartment. I've got everything I need to move in. I've got a bed and, and, and Chester drawers and my desk and chair and, and the boom box you gave me. I've got that and my tapes. I've, I've got a good job. I work at the grocery store. And I could save up my money and get me a TV set. Oh, oh, I could get a VCR. I could get one when they're on sale over at Walmart. Well, Bubba, I've got everything a single guy could want. Well, it's other things involved here, Robert. Uh, Robert, honey, you know you're not like the other boys and girls, and I don't want you living alone. Now, this group home is full of guys like you, real interesting people. One guy has an autographed picture of Troy Aikman, and there's another guy. This other guy carves ducks, and these ducks are so lifelike, they look so real. Hell, I walked by his room, looked in there, and I said, Watch out, everybody! There's a wild duck in here! Honestly, Bubba, you can act so retarded sometimes. All right, so he hadn't painted it yet. But hey, the, anyway, the other day, all the guys piled into this bus that the old couple drive. They went over to the ballpark in Arlington, and they saw them a professional baseball game. Just think of it, Robert. Baseball. Now, now there's a game even you could understand. No. No, ba baseball doesn't make any sense. Anyway, Robert, you wouldn't be alone, and there'd be somebody around to take care of you. But hey, if you lived alone, who'd do your laundry for you? 
Mama. Mama won't be here anymore. Oh, where's she going? Give it a rest, Robert. Now, Mama does your laundry when you're with her. Charlene does your laundry when you're in Denton. And the McKenzie twins do your laundry along with mine when you're here. Well, who's going to do your laundry if you break up with the McKenzie twins? Oh, don't be stupid. I'll just go out and find some other woman to do my laundry. Well, look, now see, you're going to have to face situations like that every day. I know. Let's pretend like you have your own apartment. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. When can I move in? I said, let's pretend. All right. Now visualize this, all right? It's early morning. And you're sound asleep. All of a sudden, the alarm clock goes off to start another day for Robert. Now, what's the first thing you do? Oh, oh, I know. I wake up. After that. Now, you're going to have to make a lot of little decisions during the day. So I want you to go step by step and tell me what you will do during that day. Well, after I get out of bed, I'll shave, and then I'll brush my teeth, and then I'll get dressed, and I'll brush my hair, and then I'll, I'll go get on the bus and I'll go to work. Well, did uh, we forget to eat breakfast? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll eat breakfast. And what will you eat for breakfast? Oh, oh, Pop-Tarts. All right, all right, now some people like a light breakfast. Me, a piece of cold pizza will do me just fine. Now, what do you do when you get off of work? Well, I'll, I'll get on the bus, and I'll go home, and then I'll take a bath, and put on my pajamas, and go to bed. You leave work at 3.30 in the afternoon. Now, you're going to be in bed by 5 p.m.? I could sit up and color in my book. Well, what about dinner? What are you going to make for dinner? Pop-Tarts. Well, that would be fine except for one thing. Pop-Tarts come in cherry or blueberry, not meatloaf and potato salad. Oh, Bubba, why don't you write in and suggest that? Damn it, Robert. Don't you see that life involves dozens of small decisions every day? Well, every single day I have to go decide what to have for dinner. Oh, well, that's easy for you, Bubba. I tell you what, if it weren't for Taco Bell, you'd probably starve to death. Okay, well, okay, I'm, I'm too busy to cook sometimes. And at Mr. Jim's Pizza over here on 8th Avenue, well, you walk in the door and they say, Hi, Dwight, the usual today? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if they start cooking your order the minute you pull in the driveway. Now, I ain't that bad, damn it. Oh, 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 at the Jubilee Cafe over here on West 7th Street, you not only got your own private table, they gave you your own parking space. Shut up, Robert! Yes, Bubba. Now look, the group home is going to be the best deal for you. You and I will go over there and tour it, and if you honestly don't like it, we'll go find another one. But this couple is going to love you like you're their only son. And I tell you what, they'll make all those pesky little decisions for you. And then, Robert, will you put down that coloring book? Yes, Bubba. Now, you can spend most weekends with me, those that I'm in town, and two weeks each summer you can go spend with Charlene up in New Jersey. And, hey, Aunt Mildred over in Big Spring, well, she said you could come spend some time with her. Yes, Bubba. Now, Robert, don't you worry about money. Now, you can keep your job at the grocery store. That money's yours. And then I'll be giving you some extra cash when I get it. 
I only have a few more years left on child support on Princess, and then you can have some of that money too. Now, I promised our daddy that I would take care of you, and I always keep my promises, mostly. But Bubba, I've always wanted my own apartment. Well, sometimes things don't work out like we want them to. Hell, I should know I've been married eight times. I'm 35 years old. I can look after myself. No, Robert. I've decided that the group home is going to be the best deal for you. Bubba, you said I could have my own apartment. Damn it, Robert. I said you're going to the group home. Now, do you understand me? I said, do you understand me? Yes, Bubba. I understand. 